Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, hope everybody had a good day. Uh, if you are new, thank you very much for tuning in, joining us, spending a couple of minutes uh, with your day with us. Uh, only thing I ask, if you could be so kind, it really does take a second, guys. Support the channel, uh, click, click a like, come aboard, subscribe, share, uh, all that good stuff, and I try to do my best uh, every single day to kind of give you a point of view from somebody who's doing this for a quarter of a century. So uh, hopefully you guys continue to get value. So let's talk about the tape, right? Uh, big thing today was the FOMC minutes. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, the bigger news continues. The market continues to grind. Uh, yesterday we had, uh, you know, kind of a rest day for the tape and, you know, the going into today's session. And we kind of talked about it on last night's video. Was this kind of one of those pregnant pause type of situations, or is this just kind of literally a rest? And uh, the, we got our answer uh, very, very quickly this morning. When you woke up this morning, uh, retail kind of set the trend uh, or kind of set the stage today. You had Target uh, waking up this morning, really good quarter. When was the last time you saw Target up 16? It was actually up uh, over 22 points. Uh, really good quarter. TJ Maxx, uh, again, another nice quarter. So you had the Dow running, you had the S&P running. Uh, Macy's not so much, right? Macy's not so much. Uh, didn't fare uh, very, very well. But at least it does show you that uh, there are people spending money. And if you guys remember last week, you had Walmart uh, that came out with really, really good earnings. A lot of the retailers were starting. So it's good. You know, as much as people complain about the economy and inflation and all that stuff, again, retailers are uh, confirming that people are spending money, whether they're uh, charging everything and the delinquencies. That's a whole different conversation for a potential credit card default and student loan default and car payment default. But on the surface, right? We talk about on the surface, at least, at least it looks uh, pretty good. Uh, majority of tech names today kind of rested. And if you blinked, because uh, last night, if you guys remember last night, I was talking about maybe taking advantage of a Tesla, maybe NVIDIA pull into their five-day support. If you blinked, you literally missed the the, the flush. Literally, they, they flushed both of them out. Uh, both of them touched their five-day supports today, and they bounced. Um, I I missed the bounce. I missed the $3 bounce on NVIDIA by 15 cents. I was trying to buy this thing, and I'll show you in a second, uh, on the Twitter feed. I was trying to get the, the, the video on the five-day bounce. I missed it by 15 cents. I watched it go up three and a half dollars. I almost threw up on my mouth. But again, it really does show you uh, the structural balance of the market. Uh, dips are being bought into rising support. And you can see it perfectly here, how Tesla got to the five-day. We talked about this yesterday, uh, and it bounced. Uh, if you look at NVIDIA today, got to the five-day perfectly. Guess what? It bounced. Uh, they continue to pound uh, short-term expiration. Obviously, NVIDIA is reporting earnings in a week from now. Uh, they are pounding the 130s, guys, for the weeklies, pounding the weeklies uh, for into earnings. They're coming in for uh, the 135s, the 140s, the 150s. I mean, they, they, they are betting that this is going to be a super bullish uh, quarter for NVIDIA. Again, we don't know, right? We don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But from the betting aspect, at least you are seeing uh, institutional money flow come into the stock. I have to believe that if it holds the five-day moving average in the next couple of days, again, that's a very, very big if. This is why I always tell, uh, especially everybody in the webinar, you know, be prepared for both sides, right? We know I know my pivot to the upside in the next couple of days. I know my pivot to the downside in the next couple of days. Again, today, NVIDIA held the five-day. Yesterday, it held the five-day. Now, what happens tomorrow if it loses the five-day, right? Obviously, it goes lower. And again, this is why you want to fall in love with the channels, don't fall in love with the stock. So, uh, but unless, again, unless we give up, when I say we, the market, unless the market gives up the five day on NVIDIA, it should test a 130 uh, level, which is the high uh, for the last several days uh, by Friday. We'll see. We'll see again. We, tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow morning, can lose the five day moving average. We have a pivot to the downside. But again, be prepared on both sides. Uh, Tesla short-term expiration continues to, to still pound, folks. They're still coming uh, for, for the end of the month, uh, uh, 8.30 expiration, 2.35. 
uh, calls nonstop. Again, this is still the sequence that it got above the 50-day moving average, still going higher, grinding higher. Uh, this whole level here to fill in this whole daily gap of 234, 235, uh, is still on the table. I just wanted kind of, like I said last night in the video, I just wanted to uh, try to see if we could get a sneaky short in there before the bounce. And we didn't get that opportunity today. Again, it is what it is. But again, market continues to act uh, very, very well. Uh, Oracle, remember Oracle, right? We talked about Oracle uh, reclaiming back the 50-day moving average. Again, look at the examples, folks. One example after another, after another. Folks, find the 50-day chart. So if you don't trade mega cap, there's a million stocks out there that are reclaiming the 50-day moving average. That's the key. Find those names. Those are the names you want to buy. Uh, Oracle finally confirmed yesterday. Uh, now it's $2.5 uh, in the money. And the names that have been over the 50-day continue to climb. Look at Netflix, man. Look at Netflix. You guys realize that Apple has been up 12 days in a row going into today's session. Today was the first day on Apple, the first day on Apple that it was red and it was down 15 cents. That's a massive, massive move. But just like NVIDIA, right? Just like NVIDIA, is it possible? And you can see here, two out of the last three days, it's held the five-day moving average. This is kind of what I talk about. Be prepared on both sides. Obviously, the value, right? The value trend, uh, the value trade potential on Apple's to the downside. Again, after 12 days of running, if it does lose the five-day moving average, yeah, I mean, the value is definitely the pull, but it keeps on grinding. And this is what a strong uh, market continues to show. Uh, if you go through all the names today uh, in the NASDAQ 100, you'll see you know something that we've been talking about every single day. A stock either goes out of its range or the stock rests. We saw a lot of names rest today. Uh, we saw a couple of names trying to get above the range, a couple of names that are setting up for tomorrow. But as my daughter made me this uh, cup about a year ago, YONO, right? And YONO stands for you only need one. And that's exactly what happened today. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, we talked about NVIDIA for a couple of days going sideways, right? That's the whole digestion uh, after a stock, uh, after a stock uh, makes a big move. If you look at the Twitter feed today, right? If you look at the Twitter feed You'll notice there's literally, literally one stock, guys, one stock that confirmed the whole day. It wasn't NVIDIA, right? It was a channel to the upside, to the downside, didn't confirm. It wasn't AMD, never got below 54.20. It wasn't Tesla, right? Never, got back above that level and just came right back up. Te Microsoft stopped exactly uh, at the pivot level. SRPT confirmed. This wasn't the one that I'm talking about, but SRPT confirmed again. This is the 50-day confirmation. So for all you guys who trade biotech stocks, and some of you guys started in position today, folks, SRPT, over the 50-day moving average. Again, this is the highest close reclaiming supply. Watch higher prices uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, you know, let's see here. Apple, again, never got below uh, the 2545. ASTS never got below the 3190. Uh, and I believe that is it. Until we got to this, right? We got to this. So Meta, we've been talking about for a couple of days, had a big run-up, right? Had a big run-up, went sideways for about three, four days. And again, this is my point of being prepared on both sides of the market. 531.66 to the upside, 522.76 to the downside. I'm not in love with the stock. I'm in love with the channel. That's what it is, folks. Fall in love with technical analysis, not the stock. And finally, the stock confirmed, right? Finally, the stock confirmed and da 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 539. Uh, literally, literally my only trade of the day. Literally my only trade of the day today. Uh, Meta went nuts. It took out this whole four-day channel, uh, took out the 531.66, traded right to last week's highs, this linear regression line. Guys, watch this Meta. Folks, watch this Meta for the next couple of days. There was a buyer there all day buying stock, all day, taking blocks, if this thing could get above last week's highs and reclaim that linear regression line, this thing's going to take off. Today was just, I think, a nice appetizer, even though it was, you know, it was literally gave us a seven dollar candle in what fifteen minutes. Guys, look, look at the, look at this candle. This is literally a seven dollar candle uh, in fifteen minutes. But this is just the appetizer. If if this thing could just get back above, right? If it could get back above the July highs, this thing can go to five fifty, five fifty five. It's again assuming the market uh, continues to hold. We saw. Uh, weekly 540s. We saw uh, next week's 545, 550s. 
uh, coming in on Meta. So again, a lot of institutional money flow uh, coming to the name. As like we talked about, we always say this in the webinar, Yono, you only need one. This is definitely uh, the one for today. Um, I believe literally, I believe literally that was it. Um, I believe literally that's it. Oh, this is where I missed it. Look, this is where I missed. T- 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 tell me technical analysis sometimes is not a game of inches. That's what she said, right? NVIDIA, nonstop weekly 130 calls. That's exactly what they're coming for. For experienced traders, watch the five-day bounce 126.50s with a low of yesterday's low of 125.80. So you're talking about you had a risk of 70 cents. That's it, 70 cents off the five-day. Look where the stock stopped. I missed the entry by 15 cents. The low of the day today was, I was looking for the 126.50 rebound bounce off the five-day. It traded 126.66. I missed it by 16 cents. I watched it go up three and a half dollars. It is what it is. Life is not fair. Trading is not fair sometimes. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. But again, uh, it all evens out at the end. So the moral of the story is uh, bulls continue uh, to grind higher. Uh, Fed, you know, minutes basically, again, left the language. Again, it's all about the language. It's, It's just in commas, periods, and all that stuff. They're basically suggestion, even though some Fed governors were open to a July cut in the previous uh, previous meeting, uh, now there's speculation that they might cut in September. Again, like I said, I personally don't believe ahead of the election there is going to be a cut, but who the hell knows, right? Honestly, who the hell knows? The point is uh, take it day by day, trade by trade. I don't understand any of that stuff. Uh, I've been doing this for 25 years. I have no idea about any of this stuff. Fed and Schmed, all I know is price action, supply and demand, and my role in the universe. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas for uh, tomorrow. Uh, again, we start, We talked about Meta. Guys, watch Meta. Look, look, look at this channel. Guys, watch Meta in the next couple of days. It doesn't necessarily have to confirm tomorrow, but if Meta gets above this whole channel here and takes out the July highs, this thing's going to really, really start stretching. Today was... Uh, a pretty awesome move. Uh, literally, seven dollars gave us in about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Um, let me give you guys some ideas here. Look, guys, I, I know, I know, I know. Stocks don't go down. I know. Let's watch Apple, right? Let's watch Apple again. It's it's one of those scenarios for tomorrow. It was just just a, a res day today. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Uh, but the point is, it was up. It's up twelve out of thirteen days. Today's the thirteenth day. It's only down fifteen cents. In the last two out of three days, it touched the five-day, right? It touched the five-day and then bounced. My thinking is, after a 12th day in a row move, well, why can't this thing have a little profit taking? Again, I'm not, I don't know if it's going to happen tomorrow, but I'm going to be prepared. So if it loses the five-day moving average, I, I want to be prepared for this trade uh, to see if we can get a move down. Uh, NVIDIA, I have to assume they make one run. They make one run, uh, one more run ahead of earnings. They're betting, uh, again, they're betting nonstop for the weekly 130 calls. It's been rejected off that level now like three days in a row. Uh, is it possible, just the same way as Apple, is it possible after two days in a row of holding the five-day that tomorrow where the next day it loses the five-day instead of testing that 130 level? Absolutely. You know, I'm there for all the small. I'm there for the upside. I'm there for the downside. I'm there, right? I'm there. When you're trading the stock, again, you're trading its levels, not their fundamentals, not their uh, you know return on equity, not their uh, PE ratio, and you are trading. You're not investing, you're trading. So I'm definitely watching uh, both sides of that. And Microsoft, let's watch Microsoft, right? So Microsoft is one of these names that are still below the 50-day moving average, right? Here's the 50, the light blue line. But folks, look how close, man. Look how close we are. This, this thing kind of reminds you of Oracle, just on a different supply zone, right? Oracle is just bumping up against supply, bumping up against supply, and then just finally went. So look at Microsoft, right? It's just kind of bumping up against supply in two days in a row. Watch this channel here. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to go tomorrow, but watch the top of the range here. If Microsoft gets the top of the range, why can't it expand? It's a $400 stock. Why can't this thing put up a $10, $15 move into the 50-day moving average? So that's definitely a name we want to watch. And the last one, but not least, keep an eye on UPST. We've had some pretty nice pivots on UPST. This thing is got, got, kind of going sideways now. The lower it goes sideways, the better. Um, remember, they were coming for the October 50 calls. You have to check earnings, whatever it is. Maybe it already passed. But the point is they're still coming for uh, the October 50 calls throughout the week. So you definitely want to keep an eye on this thing. 
I has been sitting in this position for about three days. Let's see if tomorrow will be day four and that it finally has a continuation chart. Guys, have a great weekend, everybody. We're weekend. Wow, Freudian slip. It's only Wednesday. Have a great night, everybody. Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's usually my uh, nightly video off day just to kind of recharge my brain so I can be fresh for Friday. So if you are uh, interested in pivots and curious in pivots, uh, all it takes is 30 days to see uh, if this is a right fit for you. And for the rest of you guys, I will see you on the field tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a great, great night.